how to connect wireless Android Auto. So there's a few things we need to make sure um, that our phone has before trying to connect up to Android Auto. The first being uh, with some older Android phones, you will need to download the app from the Play Store. So you need to actually download Android Auto. Um, for some of the recent phones, it is built into your phone, so you shouldn't have any problems. Again, just like the iPhone, you want to make sure that your Wi-Fi is switched on. It doesn't need to be connected to anything, it just needs to be on. So it's a pretty uh, simple process. Firstly, what I want to point out is uh, on your head unit, you have an app called Speedplay. I want you to go into it and I want you to take note of what version of Speedplay you have. So if you have SD underscore 2.0.26, that's good. If you've got any other uh, version, please reach out to us for an update as we did have some trouble with the new Android update and it connecting wirelessly to our head unit. Okay, so that's the first thing. Make sure you've got the latest version of Speedplay. If you don't, please reach out to us. Uh, you can reach out via email. All we do is send you uh, an APK file, which I will have another video tutorial on how to update that. But for now, we're, we've made sure we've got the right version. So we're just gonna go back home and just make sure on your phone, just open up your Bluetooth settings and you want to open up the Bluetooth app on the head unit. So, okay, so I'm in my Bluetooth uh, app on my phone and I'm also in the Bluetooth settings app. Okay, so we want to click uh, this little magnifying glass Okay, so it's found our phone fairly quickly. So what we want to do is we want to click that magnifying glass. That will cease the search. Um, and then we're just going to highlight it. And we're going to connect. We're going to link the two phones. Okay, so as you can hear, the phone just prompted a password, which is double zero, double zero. And we're going to hit pair. And we've paired up. Okay, so in some cases, Speedplay will take over, but in other cases, sometimes it just needs a double pair for, and for Android Auto to work. So it seems like this is the case, so we're just gonna, all we're gonna do is highlight it and we're gonna disconnect. So connect a device now, disconnect, okay. And we're just gonna highlight it and we're going to hit pair again. So it's automatically paired. As you can see straight away, it's found Android Auto. And that's pretty much it. So wireless Android Auto is working fine. Um, as mentioned in our uh, CarPlay video, once you've established a wireless connection, between uh, Android Auto and the head unit, um, you cannot use Wi-Fi. So you cannot connect to any Wi-Fi source um, because it is, usual, it is using Wi-Fi to connect the two together. So as you can see here, your Wi-Fi is greyed out. As soon as you uh, connect to a Wi-Fi source or your hotspot, wireless Android Auto will cut out. Okay, of course, if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to call us on 1300 555 514 or email us at sales at polarisgps.com.au. I hope this video was helpful.